What's up everybody? Darkblade, the journeyman here. Last time we were doing something and now we are doing something. I don't remember what. Scout ship setting sail. Okay, so we're getting out of here then? Something like that, I guess. How do I get out? There we are. Oh shit. I'm extra good at beating up the weak It won't change anything. Yay! I'll show you the beauty of my Wow, Mystic Arts really took a downhill turn, huh? <laughs> Victory is ours. Yay! More junk. I don't know. I don't care. Double 
You know, this combat system would be good if it relied on TP again. Not this stupid fucking... If it was more of a 3D combat system like Tales of Symphonia, then it would probably be good. Well, a 3D Tales of Symphonia combat system it would, be, would be good. Ready? something about this please there we go two for one You know, I totally forgot how to do Mystic Arts. Hold on a second.
Oh, hold LT during combo. Okay. Yep. Okay. This is it, baby. Again? How do you keep getting this shit? What are you doing that I'm not doing? Come look at my shit. Come. Let us fight. Come on. A little more. A little more. Oh, Alright, come on. Yes, there we go. A foe worth killing. Close one, huh? But I am the victor. So you got.
I don't know, who was that for? That's the, for the dudes. I don't remember what the f fuck. Just that impatient, I know. I feel bad for these dudes, but uh, <laughs> you know, I gotta trash them. Oh, you wanna fight? What a fight. Just keep spamming it. <laughs> It'll never end. Fuck it. And I'll heal myself. It's so broken, it feels so broken. Explosive shit, man. <laughs> I refuse to fall here. Jam, eleven from that. Got a lot. What's the details? here come hither okay I got a little worried oh I'm at max whatever will I do Dire foe? What the fuck is a dire foe? Well, someone who's higher level. Okay, well, I'll kill you then. What the hell? Fuck it. I'll kill you then. Shit, 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 shit. I'm dead. No, I lost everything there. What the fuck? Uh, how do I swap again? Oh, 
And I'm dead. And empty. How do I f how do I switch again? Is it, is it up down? Oh shit. There's no time to waste. Yes. No, oh, no escape. We kill him. I don't know what those things are, but they just won't die. Eat it! Eat all of it! I'm not done with you yet. Come back here. These things don't even take damage. What is that m black magic? Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was... I didn't know what to say, so I just went back. But sorcery is much better. Damn. Yes. Be proud. You made me unleash my full power. Bonuses are gone. What did I get anyways? I don't feel like fucking exploring this crazy shit. Okay. That was some crazy grade boosting I did. And I'm back at the bottom too. Getting the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Where are we 
we going? Where's my mom? Kamoana, your mother is still far away. Then I need to wait for her at home. Let's go back to Haria. Scary demons are running through the village. It's too dangerous there now. But I want to see my mom. Your mom would be sad if you got hurt by a demon. Come with us, and we'll keep you safe until she comes back. Okay, I'll go with you. I wouldn't want mom to be sad. All right, oh boy. Already? That was quick. Take a look at this. I knew this would be big. Hello. What a treasure. It's a Martell statue. Scout ship set. This way. <sighs> All right. You're going to tell me about the demon blight and malevolence. Are you seriously thinking of breaking the Moloch taboo? That depends. Moloch taboo? This is about more than just the demons. You could say it's the truth behind how this world really works. The knowledge can be devastating to humans, throwing into question everything they think they know. And so the Malachim agreed to withhold it from humans. For their own protection. Do you still want to know? It's not like I'm a human anymore. I can't keep lying to myself. I can't go on unless I know the truth. You asked for it. First of all, this thing, this illness you call demon blight does not exist. Any human carries the potential of becoming a demon. All it takes is for the malevolence lurking in their heart to overflow. And what exactly is this malevolence? Impure emotions beyond what reason can suppress. Think of it as the sin buried in men's souls. So you knew. I'm a witch. So malevolence is the darkness in all our hearts. Make any sense to you guys? Any at all? When you put it like that, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> by nature, humans are incited by negative energy. It is easy to turn them towards impurity, creating malevolence. In fact, most people are constantly generating malevolence. It might even be possible that demons are people's true selves, and what little reason they possess is all that keeps them in human form. If the masses realized this, the realm would be thrown into utter chaos. That's why the Abbey propagates the lie of demon blight. So I presume. That can't be true! You know yourselves there weren't any demons before the opening! It used to be that humans couldn't see demons. Or Malachim. Not unless they possessed a unique spiritual talent we call resonance. All your average human would see was someone turning extremely violent. Unable to explain what was happening, they'd just call those people possessed or feral. Then what made people see them all of a sudden? I don't know. My guess would be that something triggered greater resonance among all of humanity. And then. On the day of the advent, all humans gained the ability to perceive Malachim. And in the following days, the exorcist numbers swelled. This has to be Artorius's doing. Ooh. 
But if there's no sickness, why would an entire village turn into demons at the same time? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Humans produce malevolence, which Therians consume and transmit to a Nominat. But when we removed Kamawana from the Earth Pulse point... Clever boy. That's right. With no Therian to absorb their malevolence, the villagers could no longer contain it. So you're saying it's all my fault? Hey, what's going on? You all look so sad. It's scaring me. Oh my god. Can we get rid of that thing? On the other hand, at least now we know we can trust the contents of that ancient book. We tear the Therians away from their Earth Pulse points. Inominat's power will wane, and will prevent this awakening. But if we take away the Therians, then more and more humans will turn into demons. It's the only way to kill Artorius. Ooh, the knives come out. So even the truth won't stop you. Very well. Since each Therian looks different, we'll only find them by capturing the Earth Pulse points one by one. What separates humans and demons? Um... Uh... That's Eleanor. Ch cheer up, Eleanor. Your mommy. Oh my god. I don't like this cutesy shit. <laughs> yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Grimoire, I want you to tell me more about. about malevolence? I understand that human emotions create a. Is there no way to stop malevolence? As long as humans remain human, no. But your kind must have found a way around it. But Malakim do not produce malevolence, unlike humans. That's a lie. I've watched a Malak turn into a demon. That only happens when we are exposed to too much external malevolence. <sighs> True. The island was full of prisoners and demons. And Melkir hit that Malak with something that turned it into a wyvern. Was it malevolence? To Malakim, malevolence is a powerful toxin. We seek those of purity to serve as vessels to protect us from it. It is not a perfect solution, however. If the vessel is corrupted, the Moloch is as well. That is correct. So if Eleanor turns into a demon, then Lafayette... That must be what Aizen meant when he said he'd hate to see Lafayette's vessel broken. A small crack in one's soul is often all it takes to break a person apart. So try not to pick on our squeaky clean exorcist too much, hmm? Thanks for the warning. All right. Sir, we just received a Sylph J from the boss of the Blood Wings. She has a job for us and wants us to meet her in Logress. Uh -huh. How should we respond? Let's do it. Besides, we need to see- Good point. And the Blood Wings might know something about the other Therians too. We're heading for Logress. Prepare to set sail. Ready anytime. On a logress, where the f how the out? Where am I going?
What is excellent, I guess? I lost my mother to a demon. Yet that girl's a Therian. I... I don't even know what I want anymore. Hey, that's pretty! You like to look at that thing, don't you? Yes. My mother... Someone very important to me gave me this. I treasure it a lot. Looking at it gives me strength. Do you want to see it? Yeah! Ah! What's wrong? My face! It's... it's scary! My god. I don't want to look like that! I don't want my mommy to hate me! her age. That's just how I cried. Come, Alana. I want you to see this. That huge owie. What happened? It's big and ugly, isn't it? There are scary things about my body, too. But do you think I'm scary, Kamalana? No, not at all. But are you all right? Does that hurt? Thanks, sweetie. I'm all right, I promise. What about me? Do you think I'm scary? You're such a sweetheart, Kamalana. Nobody could ever be scared of you. Not me, not your mother, not Lapiset. You don't have to cry anymore. It'll be okay, I promise. <laughs> Okay. That scar, was it from a demon? Yeah. They attacked my village when I was a girl. I was so hurt, I couldn't move. But my mother lured them away from me so I could survive. What happened to her? <sighs> the last thing she said to me was... Stay strong, and keep living. Oh. Come to the deck. Grimoire says she's learned something from the book. Hey, why is your face so red? It's nothing. Somehow, I doubt that. <laughs> it's nothing, I, I swear. Do you all remember the second verse of that song Lafayette read earlier? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. Right. That's what I've gathered you all here to discuss. And we think that passage means that Inominach and the Therians will be revived by a chosen one, right? Yes, but the shall be forever reborn part kept bothering me. I've reconsidered my analysis. Suppose that instead of someone being chosen by Inominat to create Therians, the song means that Inomi. <sighs> but so long as there is one receptive to divine. That someone receptive. Like, come. Which is to say that the Abbey figured out how to I... turn people into Therians and then got right to work. Where is the heated That's... moment? Are you really that surprised? As I. Another thing to consider is this wording about there. This could mean that one Therian will be reborn again and again. Or it could mean that. D meaning that even if you kill one, there are. Looks like prioritizing the one over the many was the right call. I never said I wouldn't kill her. If. But Therians can't. Hmm. So, in a nutshell, if you. Right. But the song says that seven mouths feed the body. So there's only so many around. If you don't kill them, the next ones won't be born. Exactly. So we remove the seven Therians from their Earth Pulse. But we also have to protect them so the Abbey doesn't steal them back or kill. Sounds true. We've got to protect my bug, too. 
Yeah. You take You bet. In that case, we should probably work on securing a proper hideout for ourselves. You got a secret base or anything, Eisen? It's every man's fantasy, but sadly, I don't. Huh. <laughs> we need a hard to find spot. One where we can guarantee a steady supply of malevolence for the Therians. Hmm, somewhere devoid of people but full of malevolence. Real poser you got there. With the Abbey in control of the entire continent, finding a place like that will be easier said than done. Meanwhile, Inominat's reawakening draws ever closer. We'll have to keep collecting our Therians while we search for a hideout. For now, let's just get to Logris. water and food you got wait your turn moron i was drifting out at sea for three days almost died out there we here poor you you probably deserved it say that again wise ass i dare you ah uh, shut up both of you no one's getting anything until you pay me what you owe first uh are they gonna be okay mm. don't pay them any mind sailors are just a short-tempered bunch that's all hey huh? the hell are you doing What's going on? They've jacked up the price to dock our ship here. Oh yeah? Some real balls you've got there, buddy. If you lot want to moor here, that's the price you're gonna pay. And why did it go high? Look, pirates are a liability to begin with, but calling your crew infamous these days would be putting it lightly. The more wanted you are, the more it's gonna cost to hide you. Capiche? <sighs> Hard to argue there. Benwick, just pay the man what he wants. <sighs> yes, sir. You're such pushovers. You and the cabin both. I knew I could count on you to come through, Eisen. Pleasure doing business with you. My god. Looks like I'm causing you trouble. It comes with the job. Don't sweat it. Some sailors just have longer tempers than others. Noted. Oh, this way. Okay. Bloodwing butterflies operate in the Empire's shadows. Not even the Abbey knows their full scope beyond whispers and rumor. And you all have a connection to them, don't you? Dark and interconnected is the underworld. We've heard voices in the shadows, glimpsed faces behind paper-thin masks. The attack on High Priest Gideon. Was that at their behest? Yeah, the Bloodwings asked us to take him out. We did it in exchange for information that could lead us to Artorius. Information? You would assassinate a man for mere information? Yes. Information on the shepherd who rules the world. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. We just work with them when our interests align. Nothing more. That's the kind of thin justification I'd expect to hear from them, too. But the Bloodwings were acting upon knowledge that the High Pri- You're right. The- And it seems that the Bloodwing Butterfly Network goes further and deeper than we have- They knew about the barrier at the throne, too. And Velvet's expertise at Dove Mimicry. <sighs> Would you stop bringing that up? <laughs> Dove Mimicry? What does that mean? I have no idea. There was a Dove near the dock checkpoint. That's all. Huh? Right! It was a black, full-chested Dove, wasn't it? Cuckoo! Oh yeah! That one! Is that some sort of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that. Here we are, back in Logris. It was a lot tougher to get in the first time. 
more funny than tough, if you ask me. Oh, you mean Velvet's little dove act? Coo coo. I'd be careful teasing her if I were you. You. Oh, don't act like you didn't enjoy it too. <laughs> I'm sure you did, right? <laughs> Good little boys don't lie to adults, you know. Coo coo. I might have just a little. Say it like it was funny. Coo coo. <laughs> Is Inominot's book so difficult? Grimoire seemed perplexed by it. Yeah. She said it was written in ancient Avarost, a language that uses Impressionist script. I've never heard of Impressionist script. Each character can have many different meanings and readings, depending on the emotion it's expressing and the way it relates to the characters around it. Some modest records on its grammar and structure survive. But none that say how to read the emotion the characters express. Grimoire said that you have to recreate the writer's feelings as a sort of starting point in order to read it. I see. And you have a talent for that sort of thing? I guess I do. But a script based on emotions? That's as far removed from modern language as can be. Yeah. It's completely unrelated, apparently. How can it be completely unrelated? After the temperance of Avarost, the entirety of human civilization vanished. The language went with it. Much as a blooming flower loses its petals, the Avaros civilization grew too far and came to its final end. The surviving buildings and ancient tools, the likes of which our technology cannot replicate, were the beginning of that end. In any case, it sounds like deciphering that writing will take quite a while. Yeah, with historical buildings and all- Uh-huh. Sightseeing's nice and all, but don't wander off and get lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry about him. He can take- I know. I was just saying. Eleanor, I need you. The boss of the Bloodwings knows an exorcist is with us, but... Say no more. I'm sure they have clients. Correct. Okay. I'll be back. My thanks for coming all this way. It's been a while. Would you care for a peach pie? What do you want? Oh. It would do you good to unwind every now and again, you know. Stretch a bow too far, and its string is bound to snap. What do you want? <sighs> I would like you to escort this person out of the capital. And that would be? Something smells about this. Literally. Where am I taking them? Somewhere the authorities can't reach them. Sounds nice. I could do with such a place myself. No joke. We've been looking for a place to lay low, but we haven't had any luck yet. Well, come to think of it, I've heard a rumor that it's been a while since the Abbey has had any contact from Titania. The really? Island. Titania? But I thought the Abbey was in direct control of that place. Has the situation there gotten that bad since you left? Sometimes the answer is right under your nose. I think it might work. 
Yeah. Could make a decent hideout, actually. The Therians could definitely get their fill of malevolence there. And the Abbey is far too goody-goody to imagine an escaped prisoner would ever return to her prison by her own free will. <laughs> At the very least, I'd say it's worth checking out. I take it our intel has proven useful? It has. But before we go, have you heard anything about the Abbey harboring demons? I'm aware there was a demon in the villa, and that it has been relocated. Where? I can't say right this moment, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. All right, then in exchange for this passenger's safety, I want more information on that demon. You've got a deal. Aizen, I heard about your confrontation with Melchior. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you find him. Yeah, you really blew that one, toots. <laughs> it's fine. What's done is done. Have you given up on finding Eifried? No, I haven't. The crew and I will do whatever we can to quash the Abbey's plans. We do them enough damage, and the Abbey ought to start thinking about putting their hostage to good use. They'll set him up as a trap for us, and that's when we'll steal him back. Attacking the Abbey to create an opening for his escape. Clever. It's what Ifri would do. That's all. They're taking a while. Yeah. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset. And bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. Oh boy. What's wrong? Hey, you want to take a walk around the capital for a bit? I can show you some of the sights. But, um. You. You can't trust me. I understand. No, it's not that. I promise. I'd love to go sightseeing with you, Eleanor. Luffy said. Uh, well, we'll do it another time, okay? Why? It's just, you know, Velvet would get mad at us. Get mad about what? Ah, you're done. And who is this? A VIP entrusted to us by the head of the Blood Wings. We're stowing them away on Titania, where the bad guys can't get at them. The prison island? Just who is this person? Didn't ask. What? <sighs> hey, something smells nice. Uh, uh huh? <laughs> Stop sniffing things. We're leaving. Who is that caped man? I do not know, but his hawk seemed extraordinarily well trained. Trained to hunt, maybe? I'd imagine. <laughs> what is ice? Indeed. Oh my god. It can't. Hmm? Aha! They're bloodhounds on the hunt, but we're talking about. Come again? Oh, I. I can't believe you take a job without bothering to ask who you're escorting or why. The less you know, the less trouble you invite.
This is bull crap. You're gouging us just because you can. Well, if you want to pay less, maybe you should go find someone more generous, hmm? It looks like they're at it again. What the hell? supplies and tell you what I'll give you a fair price actually just take what you need <laughs> we should all endeavor to help contribute to the common good of humanity rather than selfishly pursue wanton profit what uh, are you sure uh, uh, no Wait, what was I saying? You felt that too, didn't you, kiddo? Yeah, it disappeared, but I felt a strong force coming from somewhere to the north. It's called a domain, a Moloch zone of influence. Wait, if it's north of here, then... The Empyrean's throne? Did that happen because of something Inominat and Artorius did? I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should get far away from here, and quickly. So... the suppression... Who the fuck are you? Take scout ships. Is there a, is there any way it's like? Oh, there we go. All right, we're safely on the rolling waves. Don't you think it's time you showed us your face, mystery monk? <laughs> You're right. My apologies. I knew it! Prince Percival! Percival Ilmid Asgard. Crowned prince and heir to the throne of the Midgan Kingdom. So he's next in line, is he? It looks like someone already had me figured out. Yes, Your Highness. I could tell from your fragrant wood scent, as only the royal family may wear it. But if I may ask, why? Must I explain myself to gain your aid? I myself could ask what an exorcist is doing consorting with members of the Underworld. I... I don't... It doesn't matter why you're here. On this ship, you're here for us to use to our advantage. Treat me as you will. It's not like I can ever go back. <sighs> for a fellow He's born with over. silver spoons spewing out of his mouth, Princey Pooh is rather laid back. Prince Percival is an upstanding man, renowned for both his intelligence and his fair, just demeanor. It's widely believed that with him on the throne, Midgan's prosperity will continue and... Look, I played dumb earlier, but I smelled that scent too. He wore it for us to notice. He wanted us to know just what sort of position he held, and how useful he could be to us. He surprised me at least. Do you think we're being led into another trap? We definitely no. can't take that possibility off the table. I don't think table. so. 
When the time comes, he'll make a good hostage, if nothing else. Not if the ones we face are after his life, too. For now, let's just make sure we keep an eye on him. The Prince... He said he couldn't go back. I wonder why. <sighs> the whole island's a prison. It's like a secret fort or something. <laughs> Weirdly quiet, though. Yeah, I don't see a single exorcist on watch. Let's scope out the inside. Check and make sure it's safe. Next time, this is Darkblade signing off. Peace.